Brianna and I, we were bullied in school and uh, it got really bad for us, like we really went through a lot. We both faced um, eating disorders. Because we were bullied in school, we were bullied because of our size and that basically forced us to think that, you know, in order to be accepted in school, we had to look a certain way. I had to go see a pediatrician every, every week and I had to get weighed every week and it was the worst experience for me because it was like two things, two people inside of me were just fighting at each other um, because I'm so close to my mom and she was so worried about me at that point. It was, it's really confusing and it's really a lonely feeling and you feel lost. As soon as I hit that new school, the bullying started. So it started from grade three to grade 10 and it was ever since then that I had um, been bullied at school because I was considered the new girl and then the new fat girl and then the new fat ugly girl and then it just like the list just started getting longer and then I just started getting more stressed but it started in grade three. Really hard. I was yeah. bullied by girls mostly and I find that girls have a really hard time uh, feeling accepted within other groups of girls because the body image is such a big thing. Girls and guys have different ways of uh, bullying each other. It's mind games and some, sometimes it gets physical. And it's rough. An eating disorder is like a disease. It, well, it is a disease, but it's more, more or less in the sense that it just spreads and it affects everyone. You know, it affects your friends. It affects your friends' mm -hmm. friends. It affects your family. And that's hard when you see when you see yeah. the people you love, like around you, get so upset about you know what you're doing to yourself. That's really like that hurts a lot. I mean, I my cousin would call me and she'd be crying because she was afraid that I wasn't gonna wake up the next day. She says, you know, Bri, I don't want you to die. And it's so it's wake. You you just step back and you wake up when they say stuff like that because you're like you don't really know when you're in the disease you don't know how bad it is you don't know that you know you're ripping your body apart and you're you're just gonna like eventually you're gonna die like you can't see that because it's such a such a mental block it's so much to do with your mind that you, you see yourself in the mirror and you see all you see is fat it's a whole psychological thing it doesn't yeah. really matter um, mm -hmm. you know your gender um, it's just the whole thing is psychological. The people around you have a lot to do with the healing process and helping you and supporting you. That, that's how I got through it was because of my mom and because of my, my cousin and my family. He was my science teacher and he was like the best guy ever and he approached me and he was bawling, he was crying and he's like, I want you to make it to graduation, I don't want you to die before grad. So <laughs> that was about the worst, um, that was like a huge kick in the pants actually because I was like, wow, like this, my teacher actually cares, you know. Like. The only thing that I would ever have to say to anyone in that position is that you need to just take five minutes. Take five minutes every day and think about what makes you you and what you like about yourself. But just take five minutes every day and think about it. And then soon it'll turn into ten. And then soon you'll think, well, if there's so many good things that I am, then why am I putting myself through this? Why am I hurting myself? You have to learn to really listen to the people who love you around you, like, because really they, they matter like a lot. Like, you could see what it does to your family. It's just terrible.